So in this presentation, we're going to talk about WebLink. WebLink is a connectivity communication technology between a smartphone and a in-vehicle infotainment system, or what is commonly known as a head unit in a car. So this is a client-server implementation. On the head unit, we have a very small client that sends back information about the resolution of the screen and the screen size to the actual smartphone. So what's happening here is that the ap application is actually being rendered at the smartphone domain in the correct size for the associated head unit. The, uh, the data is then sent from the smartphone to the actual head unit. So we're going to look at a number of applications that, that we have running on this system. We're going to start with uh, internet radio. So we have a, a Slacker radio implementation. And what, what we're going to do here is display the typical internet radio interface. We've got several radio, radio stations, and we're going to select ABC News. So when we select ABC News, we will have a series of substations, and in this instance, we're going to select ABC What did Americans uh, have on their channel. minds this year? Google knows better than anybody. Google released its list. So we can hear how clearly that's coming well through the company's Daniel via our WebLink uh, connectivity. Now we go back to the home page, and this time we're going to select our WebNav application. And we're looking for, in this case, I'm looking for a restaurant. I'm a driver going down the road, and I'm looking for a restaurant. So when this renders up, we can select from a whole series of points of interest. So near me, and I'm in the mood for sushi today. So we've got all these different restaurants, but today I feel like I want to have some sushi. So I select sushi, and when we press the go button, it's going to give me uh, the directions of how to get there. Route. So in this case, we got this Ca from uh, our third-party developer, Prepare TCS. Right. It's a TCS application. They've just given us a URL. Our only request or requirement to them was that it could be rendered actually on the iPhone. And with that, we're now able to run it without any um, additional work on the actual head Prepare. unit. And we can see how Turn clearly right. that's coming through. So now we're going to go back to the home screen, and we're going to select our electric vehicle range projection application. So this is going to default to a, a map of, from where the, the, the car is actually located, and we're going to select our range application with it set at 100% charge. So in this case, we're going to throw up a polygon that should be in a green color, and now we'll select the next, uh, so 75% in the yellow and 100% in the red. And we're going to zoom in on that to give you a sense of what it looks like. So the green is 50% house. I can safely drive within this polygon on 50% of the charge, safely there and back. And now we're going to change this or switch it down and to show what the 75% tile is going to look like. So if, it, if I'm only, or in this case, we've gone straight to the 50%. So I'm going to be 50% charge, and we see how the, the polygon has shrunk. And then we can add the, uh, the charge, charging station locations as well. So now I can confidently plan my route, and I know where the, uh, where the charging stations are. We're going to go back to the home screen, and we're going to take a look at our, our mapping implementation. So this is a, a, an application that actually throws up the most common sort of web, uh, web uh, mapping apps. In this case, we're going to select Bing, and we're going to show you how easy it is to actually move the map on the screen. So if I'm a driver and I actually want to move the screen, move the map, or move around in it, we can manipulate that. We have Bing, Google, OV, and OpenStreet implemented. So we can see how easy it is, and we can capture the inputs from the from the head unit, throw it back via WebLink to our, our smartphone and out to the internet. Very, very convenient and very easy to actually use this application. 